A new system to detect wrong way drivers on San Diego freeways is a step closer to going live tonight. CBS 8's Brian White got an exclusive look at the new thermal detection system being tested by Caltrans with a wrong way driver simulation. Caltrans has been hard at work installing wrong way detection systems. They let me tag along for one of their simulations so they could test the new equipment. In California, an average of 37 people are killed each year in wrong way crashes, according to AAA. Wrong way driving crashes are very dangerous in nature just because of the speeds that accompany those crashes. In June of last year, Sandra Lee Daniels entered the southbound I-5 freeway in San Isidro and headed north. She slammed head on into a car, killing herself and two off-duty San Diego police detectives. That was pretty devastating. Uh, anytime you see anybody die as a result of a wrong way driver is, is something that we don't want to see. Wednesday morning, Caltrans workers shut down the Camino de la Plaza exit ramp just north of the U.S.-Mexico border to test their new advanced infrared thermal detection system they installed here along with some cameras. When a wrong way driver drives through and breaches through an exit ramp, the LED border signs will be activated and that'll indicate that they're going the wrong way. A message is then sent to their transportation management center notifying Caltrans and CH about the wrong way driver. They will get a, a message that there has been a wrong way event that occurred and then it, it really sends out imagery of what the video captured. These specialized detection systems have been installed at three I-5 exit ramps near the border including Camino de la Plaza, Via de San Isidro and Dairy Mart Road. Two more are planned for SeaWorld Drive and Interstate 8 and a few more in North County. Caltrans allocated nearly $9 million toward prevention upgrades on highway ramps throughout San Diego County, including enhanced wrongway signage and these red reflective pavement markers visible to drivers going the wrong way. You know, if we can employ any type of countermeasures to help uh, prevent that, you know, that would be the hope, right? The three new detection systems that have been installed on exit ramps in the San Ysidro area will go live over the next week or two after Caltrans has been able to test each one.